Mike Smith used to be a knothead Marine here at the church. You know how I know? Because <clears throat> he's got boys that are not heads. Like I have boys that are not heads, and you people have boys that are not heads. But anyway, seriously, he was uh, here in the Marine Corps and just got married, and uh, we became friends. I was the assistant pastor at the time, and uh, working UPS at the same time. And uh, I sent him off to college. Actually, I drove with him across country, my wife and I and the kids. We all went together in the caravan, took him and his great big Rottweilers and took him off to Bible College at Fairhaven Baptist College. What year was that? 1990. 1990. 1990. And uh, that's when I had hair, and I didn't have all this excess in front of me. And uh, it was, Cheryl looks the same, right? But uh, his nose has gotten bigger. My stomach is bigger, but his nose is bigger. And uh, seriously, though, we had a great time, and I dropped them off at Bible College. See, in four years, you'll come back and work for me. His last year there, I believe it was, God called him to the mission field. And so he had to tell me, and we were driving, if I remember right, we were driving in a car after one of the meetings at night, and he says, uh, Phil, I got bad news for you. Well, not bad, you know, not bad, bad for God's work, but bad for us, because he said, God has called me to the mission field. And you know what? I already knew it. I can't tell you how, but I knew that God was going to take him, and God used him greatly in Russia and uh, did a tremendous work there. And they had an Easter Sunday where the church was packed. The church in Russia got to buy their own building. This, I don't know if you know, this is a big deal for a church to be able to get their own building. And, uh, man, it was just wonderful. And then come the Russian police, break down the doors, and come in and that you're not going to do this anymore in Russia. Russia is not free, and it's worse now than it was when he was there. Now most of the missionaries have got kicked out. That's the sad thing. All the mission work, God removed most of it. Is anybody there legally? Not that I'm, well, Eric can because he's married. Yeah, well, Eric doesn't count. Eric took over the church. Eric was from a, a here in the States from Long Beach, I remember, right? No. Oh, he was Michigan, yeah. Sturgis. Yep. Okay, that's right, the church in Sturgis, Michigan. But uh, anyway, he married a Russian girl while he was there, so he got to stay. So uh, he's still running the church. The church is still going, and they're still having miracles going on. And then when he came back to the States, God led him to Estonia, and he got to go back then to Estonia, which is next to Russia. It used to be a satellite uh, nation of communism there. And he can tell you more all about that, but he has just stuck it out. One of the few men in our church that have been called to preach, sent off to do the job, uh, get trained to do the job, then off to do the job, and he still let it. So is his wonderful wife. Penny's, Penny's the strength. She's the, she's the sweetness of the home, right? But uh, anyway, so glad to have him here tonight. And he's going to share with us tonight, Sunday morning, Sunday night, and we'll have a great time of fellowship. Amen? Amen. So come on up, Mike. Well, I tell you what, after hearing that, I want to hear that guy preach myself. Man, I tell you what, it's like he's a pretty good fellow. <laughs> well, amen. So, O'Daniel, where is he at? Right behind you, sir. You're behind me, okay. Sneaking up behind me already, amen. Do you need any water? I'm okay. You got I'm water? Good, okay, you need a mint? I'm okay. You okay? All right. Yes, sir, thank you. Just want to make sure. I got, I got plenty for both of us. All right, do you know what a diver is? Diver, yes. Scuba diver yes, under the water? Okay. Also. Unfortunately, I wasn't planning on having this translated tonight because I can't do this in Russian either because it doesn't translate very well. But uh, if you have your Bibles, turn to James chapter 1. Santiago capítulo 1. And uh, we're going to have some fun tonight, I hope, uh, in the right way. Vamos a divertirnos esta noche. Espero que eso pase. We're going to preach the Word of God. Vamos a mirar la Palabra de Dios. That'll translate. Eso sí se traduce. I don't know that all my illustrations will translate. Tal vez no todas las ilustraciones, tal vez. Just to let you know, I, I am not used to having a translator. Uh, yo no estoy acostumbrado a que alguien me traduzca. 
I do translate some of my own messages back and forth, so I'll just pretend you're my other voice. How about that? Yo sí traduzco algunos de mis mensajes, así que voy a pretender que él es mi otra voz. When we got to Estonia in 2005, um, cuando llegamos a Estonia en el 2005, we got there, we didn't, we, we settled in, we started helping others that were already there. Llegamos ahí, nos acomodamos y empezamos a ayudar a los que ya estaban ahí. And then uh, we were almost a year, and um, uh, I began to pray for where God would go, have us go, and where God would have us work. Y estando allí, estuvimos como un año y estuve orando donde Dios quería que fuéramos, donde quería que estuviéramos. And there was a building real close to where we lived, and I began to walk around that and pray. Había un edificio cerca de donde nos reuníamos y comencé a, a orar caminando alrededor de este edificio. And God laid on my heart that we were going to start something there. Y Dios puso en mi corazón, vamos a comenzar algo ahí. And they had a really large section of it that was vacant. Y uh, había un, un lugar grande, vacío. And uh, I said, okay, Lord, that's going to be good. It's going to be a great church. I had, I had an opportunity to, to visit it. I had the, it was owned by the city. Y uh, dije, allí va a ser para una iglesia. Tuve oportunidad de visitarlo. Era el dueño de la ciudad. It wasn't a church. It was just a, the, it's a building. Era un edificio vacío. And uh, so I went through it and I said, wow, I was just thinking how this could be a great church. Y yo mirándolo pensé, esto puede ser una grande iglesia. And so we put a bid in at the city and we found out later on that there was a person that had inside information and outbid us by one penny. Y pusimos nosotros lo, lo que podíamos para, para quererla comprar pero había alguien más que puso otra oferta más grande y nos ganó por un, pe un, un peso, un penny. Yeah, un peso. I was very upset. <laughs> y yo estaba muy enojado. But, uh, it didn't end there. Um, so, I began to go room to room of the people that were already meeting there and knocking on doors. Y uh, comencé a ir con las personas que ya estaban allí uh, tocando uh, los, los cuartos And I asked, is there anything we could do to help you in what you're already doing? Y les dije, ¿Puede, ¿podemos hacer algo en lo que podemos ayudarles en lo que ya están haciendo? And one lady said, uh, well, I would like to teach English. Y una dama dijo, yo me, me gustaría enseñar inglés. I would like to offer lessons. Uh, uh, dando lecciones. But I need a teacher. Dice, pero necesito un maestro. And I said, her name is Luda Mila. I said, Luda, I'll teach. Y yo le dije, ah, pues yo enseño. And so I agreed to teach English lessons Así que, on, on Monday and Tuesday nights. Los lunes y martes yo me acordé, acordé en enseñar. And she said, you can use the premises Sunday morning until about one or two in the afternoon. Y me dice, puedes usar las, uh, aquí la, la propiedad desde el domingo en la mañana hasta, hasta el lunes en la noche. And you also can use it Wednesday night. Y también lo puedes usar los miércoles en la noche. And any other time it's vacant. Y cualquier otro día que esté vacío. Gave me a full set of keys. Así que me dio las llaves. And that began our first meeting place. Y ahí comenzó el primer lugar donde nos reuníamos. Didn't cost me anything. No me costó <laughs> nada. <laughs> and we began the work. And we began it traditionally, going out reaching people, knocking on doors. And, and um, that was in 2006. And um, we began to grow a group. Y comenzamos a, a trabajar, comenzamos a, a salir, a, a, a salir a tocar puertas, y eso fue en los comienzos del 2006. Another missionary came over, and he was a young fellow, and he says, can I help you? Otro joven misionero que vino y me llega conmigo y me dice, ¿puedo ayudarles? He said, you bet. Y le dije, claro que sí. And he brought a bunch of people over from the States. Y él trajo a mucha gente de los Estados Unidos. And we passed out in one summer 120,000 invitations to church in one summer. Y en un verano repartimos 120,000 invitaciones a la iglesia. They're knocking on doors. Tocando puertas. Well, after that, they passed a law that we couldn't legally go into the apartment buildings and knock on doors anymore. Después de eso, pasaron una ley donde ya no podíamos legalmente ir y tocar puertas. After 120,000 invitations, not one person Came. Después de 120 mil invitaciones, ninguna persona vino a la iglesia. And then we had the Russian riots. Y, y después subieron este las uh, demostraciones que de protest, protest, big protestas. Protest. It's either safe. And we didn't participate. We y stayed out of it. 
Nosotros no participamos, nos mantuvimos fuera. And one of the ladies that was coming to church had been saved, we thought, baptized, one of our best advocates. Una de nuestras damas que, que creíamos que era salva, que había sido bautizada, una de las mejores uh, uh, miembros que creíamos. Got angry. Se enojó. Because we didn't support the Russian protests. Porque no apoyamos las protestas rusas. And I told her, look, I'm an American, I'm living here in this country, I don't get involved in politics. Yo le dije, yo soy estadounidense, ya yo no me involucro en, en, en estos problemas de aquí. But she went behind her backs and called every single person that was coming to church. Y ella a escondidas fue a cada miembro de la iglesia. Now listen to me. Escúcheme. The typical member. El miembro típico. Listen to the gossip. Que, que escucha los chismes. Rather than the Holy Spirit. En vez del Espíritu Santo. Okay. Uh, and the stories she told about us, I, <laughs> they were great. I mean, they <laughs> made a great movie. Y la historia que ella platicaba de nosotros haría una gran película. And Sunday, Sunday came, and we had nobody. Y el domingo que viene, no había nadie. And somebody asked me, Brother Mike, what are you going to do? Y alguien me preguntó, hermano Mike, ¿qué vas a hacer? We're going to start again. Vamos a comenzar de nuevo. And we tried, and tried, and tried, and it was frustrating to get people to come. Y tratamos, 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 y era frustrante tratar de que viniera alguien. I prayed for six months, God, what, what can we do to reach people? Oré por seis meses pidiéndole a Dios, ¿qué podemos hacer para alcanzar a la gente? Meanwhile, mientras tanto, I had gone to a, church, I had gone to a store to buy a chair. Fui a la tienda a comprar unas sillas. And uh, the sales lady, la vendedora, who helped me, name was Perrette. Uh, se llamaba así, uh, la que me ayudó. And Perrette uh, was talking to me all excited because she had found somebody that she could practice English with. Y la dama estaba emocionada porque encontró por fin alguien con quien podía practicar su inglés. And so I gave her a tract. I gave her my in information. Le di un tratado, le di mi información. But I told her, look, I don't take information from women. Pero le dije, yo no agarro información de damas. You have my information. Tú tienes mi información. If you want to contact us, you're going to have to contact me. Si tú quieres uh, que haga, uh, quieres contactarnos, tienes que marcarme tú. I went home, told my wife about Perret. Le, fui a casa y le, y le dije acerca de esta dama. And I said, hey, there's a girl, lady named Perret. She works over here at the store. It was just about, you know, probably what, I suppose almost a mile from our house. We walked it. We walked, we, we had no car, so we were walking. Y le, le dije a mi esposa, eh, conocí a esta dama, uh, le dijo su nombre, y trabaja más o menos como a una milla, no teníamos vehículo, uh, pero trabaja en, en esta tienda. And so we went to see Perret the next week, right y, away. Y la fuimos a visitar la siguiente semana. They told us, uh, I, I had got my chair on Thursday, and they told us when we went the next week that she had quit on Friday. Uh, recibí mi silla el, el jueves, y la siguiente semana que fuimos, uh, ya, 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 ya no trabajaba ahí. And I thought, wow. <laughs> and we began to pray for her every morning for devotions. Y, y comenzamos a orar por ella uh, durante todas nuestras devociones. And it was a solid month. I got an email. Fue como al un mes que recibí un correo electrónico. And she wanted us to meet her husband. Y ella quería que, que conociéramos a su esposo. When us to play volleyball. Que fuéramos a jugar voleibol. I'm over here praying, God, how are we going to reach these people? Y yo estoy acá orando, Dios, ¿cómo vamos a alcanzar a esta gente? And God says, God laid in our laps, Perret, and Might, her husband, to play volleyball. Y Dios pone a, a, esta, a esta pareja que conocimos de ir a jugar voleibol con ellos. Yeah, I was saying, Lord, this is not how you do it. Y, y dije, Señor, ¿es esto? And so... We became friends. Uh, nos volvimos amigos. And Mike started finding out that I had some skills y, that uh, I had learned from Brother Webb. Who doesn't even recognize me que ni siquiera lo reconoce. And uh, Mike was remodeling his house. Y, y, uh, él también este estuvo renovando su casa. And I went over to Mike's house and would take the bus to Mike's house and help them remodel this huge house that's house with another house but it's the families and they keep adding houses to this big huge complex. Y esta, y esta 
amistad, estaba renovando su casa y renovándola de tal manera que seguían añadiendo uh, secciones para familias que siguieran viviendo ahí en esa propiedad. And we became friends. Nos volvimos amigos. <coughs> Now, give you a little bit of information culture. In Estonia, when it's your, your birthday, you throw a party. Para información uh, de, de la cultura de, de, de este lugar, cuando es tus cumpleaños, tú pones la fiesta. They don't do it for you. You do it for them. No lo hacen para ti. Tú lo haces para los demás. So the man up the street, who was a friend of Mites from their childhood, had a birthday. Así que el vecino de, de, de esta amistad, su vecino tenía un cumpleaños. And Villiard is about this big. Y big esta guy. es alta estatura y, y ancho. Businessman. Es un hombre de negocios. Business owner, I should say. And he had a birthday. Y so, este hombre tenía su cumpleaños. So Villiard, that's the man's name, he decided for his birthday that they were going to rent the Olympic pool and have scuba diving. Y el cumpleañeros decidió que para sus cumpleaños iban a rentar una piscina olímpica y iban a, a, a bucear. And he invited all his friends. Now, Mite is my guy I've met through Piret. You understand? Now, Piret's the wife. She introduces me to Mite. Okay, you get that so far. That's how we connected here. So, we give a track to Piret. Y entienda todo esto. So, Piret es la mujer que que le conocimos, que le dimos el tratado. She connects us to her husband. Nos conecta con su esposo. Her husband invites me to her, his home to do remodeling. Y su esposo nos invita a su casa a hacer remodelación. Through that, I'm meeting his friends. Y a través de eso, conozco a sus amistades. About 30 people. Como 30 personas. One of them decides to have a party. Y uno de ellos decide tener una fiesta. They didn't invite me. Y no me invitaron. But I found out about it. Pero me encontré, que, o supe que tuvieron fiesta. And... There are all this group of people that we're just making contacts. It's, as preacher used to say, when you go soul in a fishing hole. Y, y con toda esta gente con la que estábamos teniendo contacto, es como el pastor que le llama, que es un lugar donde puedes pescar. I knew, I knew all these people. Ya conozco a todas estas personas. They knew me. Y con, me conocían. The relationship was this. Ya, la, ya estaba la relación ahí. The, oh, he's the missionary from America. Y conocían, él es el misionero de, de Estados Unidos. He's got a, he, he knows how to do remodeling. Él sabe cómo hacer remodelaciones. But his God treats him so badly that he has no tools. Pero su Dios lo trata tan mal que no le da herramientas. He's worse than the Mormons because the Mormons at least have a bicycle. Y es peor que los mormones porque los mormones de perdida tienen bicicleta. He is so poor he has to ride the bus. Es tan pobre que tiene que uh, subirse al autobús. We have all these wonderful tools but he has nothing. Nosotros tenemos todas estas herramientas maravillosas, pero no tiene nada. And this man has come to Estonia. Y este hombre ha venido a Estonia to tell us about God. A decirnos de Dios. In Estonia at that time it was the strongest atheist country in the world. Y en este tiempo Estonia era el, el, el país uh, ateo más grande y bueno económicamente en el mundo. And this man is going to come tell us about this God that y we're supposed to want. Y este hombre va a venir a decirnos de este Dios que debemos de querer. What has his God done for him? ¿Qué ha hecho su Dios para él? And that was the relationship. Y esa era la relación. Until the birthday party. Hasta el día de los cumpleaños. I've been praying. Remember I told you that? Está oh, orando. God. Oh, God, I want to reach these people. Le dije. I've ah. tried it. And we, how? Dios, quiero alcanzar esta, esta gente, pero ¿cómo lo hago? And I'm sitting here at Mike's table. He's invited us for dinner. Y estoy aquí sentado en esta mesa a la que nos invitaron a cenar. And he tells me about Villar's birthday party. Y me dice acerca del, de su amigo que tiene el cumpleaños. And he says, you know what we're going to do? All of us, all of my friends. Y le dije, me dice, ¿sabes lo que vamos a hacer todos nuestros amigos? We're going to start taking scuba diving lessons. Vamos a tomar clases de buceo. Now you understand Estonia is not, when you open up the world scuba diving sites, you don't find Estonia even listed. Cuando usted uh, uh, bu hace búsqueda acerca de bucear, las naciones que bucean Estonia ni siquiera están en la lista. We're so far north, they, they have what's called black water. Estamos tan al norte que, el, que está lo que le llaman aguas negras. When you go down through it, everything's dead. <laughs> Cuando usted baja donde está el agua, todo está muerto. There's no, there's no, not even any fish. <laughs> Ni siquiera hay pescados. <laughs> But they, they, want to do, they want to do this. 
Pero ellos quieren hacer esto. And I said, he said, do you want to do this too? Y me, me preguntan, ¿tú quieres hacer esto también? And I said, well, no need. I am already certified. Y yo les dije, no necesito, yo ya soy certificado. He said, oh, really? Y me dicen, oh, sí. I said, yeah, I was certified in 1983. Yo fui certificado en 1983. What? 83? No, en said, el 83. He goes, Mike, you are the oldest certified diver in this country. He dice, Mike, tú eres el, el hombre más viejo certificado en este país. I didn't tell him. No le dije. That in 25 years, que en 25 años, I only dove once. No más lo he hecho una vez. I didn't tell him that. No le dije eso. I didn't tell him the last time I dived, the equipment was totally different. No le dije que la última vez que yo bucé, el equipo era completamente diferente. But he said, you've got to meet the course director for the country. Pero me dijeron, tú tienes que conocer al director del curso en el país. And I met this man. Y lo conocí a este hombre. Kert Madras. En Kert. Kert Madras. No, nombre hombre, ¿ya? Yeah? Yeah, sí, así se, se, llama. se llama. Se llama Kert Madras. ¿Ok? And Kert said, you've been diving since 83. Y este hombre me dice, ¿has estado buceando desde el 83? You've got to join our club. Tienes que unirte a nuestro club. I said, what's that cost? He says, $120. Le dije, ¿cuánto cuesta eso? $120. And I'm like, I'm the poor guy, remember? I said, uh, he said, but don't worry. If you agree to join, it's free. Acuérdese, yo soy el pobre y me dice, no te preocupes. Si tú te unes, es gratis. Eventually, he put me on his website. Y él uh, terminó poniéndome en su página de internet. As the diving chaplain. Como, como el buzo uh, predicador. It says, and this is, my, this is what he wrote. Y es lo que escribió. In everyone's life there are spiritual needs. En todas las vidas hay necesidades espirituales. Whether the joyous event, or whether the tragic event like the death of a loved one. Ya sea un evento trágico como la pérdida de un ser querido. Or a joyous event like the birth of a new child. O algo grandioso como el nacimiento de un niño. Our club has an experienced chaplain that can meet both your spiritual and diving needs. Nuestro club tiene un predicador uh, que puede ayudarle con sus uh, necesidades espirituales. And so God used scuba diving, volleyball, basketball, and weird things, my wife's cooking. Weird things. Dios usó a, a, al voleibol, el básquetbol, a bucear y cosas raras como el a, cocinar de mi esposa. To get into the lives and homes of people. Para Dios ponernos en, en línea con las casas de las personas. This year I, I looked at my list. We, I've had divers from 26 countries. Es, este año estaba mirando la, mi lista. Tengo, uh, he buceado en 26 países. That we've taken out diving. Que, que hemos ido a bucear. God is good. Dios es bueno. Let's go to James chapter 1. Santiago capítulo 1. This is why I'm preaching this tonight. I think you'll get the, you had to know that to get to the message. Y este es, vamos a aplicar esto. Tenía que saber eso para, para que agarre el mensaje. But it won't work in Spanish. Y no trabaja en español. <laughs> Verses 1 and 2. Would you stand for the reading of the word of God? We're going to read down through verse 6. Versículo 1 y... Uh, Comenzando en el 1, si se pone de pie para la lectura. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. Jacobo, siervo de Dios y del Señor Jesucristo, a las doce tribus que están esparcidas, salud. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into divers temptations. Hermanos míos, tened por sumo gozo cuando cayeres en diversas pruebas. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Sabiendo que la prueba de vuestra fe produce paciencia. But let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Mas tenga la paciencia su obra perfecta para que seáis perfectos y cabales y que nada os falte. If any lack the wisdom, let him ask of God, that give it to all men liberally and abraith not, and it shall be given him. Si alguno de vosotros tiene falta de sabiduría, pídala a Dios, el cual da a todos abundantemente y sin reproche y le será dada. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. 
pero pide en fe, no dudando nada, porque el que duda es semejante a la ola del mar que es llevada por el viento y echada de una parte a otra. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful to meet tonight. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you work on our hearts. I pray, Father, you'd meet with us. I pray that you would open our hearts again to the message. We thank you as we've already prayed that uh, we had such a beautiful day today. So, Father, we just ask that you'd use us, guide us, direct us. Let every word that's spoken this evening bring honor and glory to Jesus Christ. For it's in his name that we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Now, I know that when you read that, you said, Oh, Brother Smith's going to talk about divers' temptations. Y yo sé que cuando usted miró esto y dijo, ah, el hermano va a, a, va a estar predicando acerca de diversas pruebas. And you're saying, Brother Smith, that's not the same word. That word divers in the English here is not the same as the scuba divers that you talk about. Y esa palabra en inglés, diversas, uh, no es la misma palabra acerca de ir a bucear. No, I'm going to be joking here. In the Greek, what this really means Y en el griego, lo que esto sí significa is scuba diving. Es bucear. You see, the, the apostrophe is missing in the King James Bible. But it was probably there in the Greek. You got that? Y hay algo que aquí Amen. le falta, pero que en el griego sí estaba ahí. <laughs> no, it's not. It's pero, a, the, divers no means what in this passage? Different. Di, diversa significa diferentes. Unique. Único. I think divers' temptations is unique. Yo creo que diversas pruebas es algo único. So we're going to talk about divers' temptations, as in what we are tempted as divers, as in scuba diving. Y vamos and I a think hablar, it's going to be pretty diverse. Vamos a hablar acerca de diversas pruebas, acerca de, de los que son, van a bucear. Because we're in California, we have to have diversity. Porque en, en California tenemos que tener uh, diversidad. Well, you know, I want you to notice the first thing we see here, verses 1 and 2, especially verse 2. It says, count it all joy when you fall into divers' temptations. Algo que miramos primeramente es en el versículo 2 que dice que tened por sumo gozo cuando cayeres en diversas pruebas. You are going to have temptations. Tú vas a tener tentaciones. And it's not going to be normal. Y no va a ser normal. It's going to be normal to have the temptations. Va a ser normal tener la tentación. But the temptations are not going to be normal. Pero las tentaciones no van a ser normales. Meaning they're going to be different. They're going to be unique. They're going to be multitude of temptations are going to attest and, 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 and come against you. Van a ser diferentes, van a ser únicas, van a ser múltiples las tentaciones que vengan a ti. As a diver... Como bucea. What are the things we have to be worried about and concentrating on? El buzo, algo que tiene que tener en mente, algo que tiene que concentrarse. Is not doing what's natural. Es uh, uh, no mirando lo que es natural. The Bible says. La Biblia but, dice. But the natural man. El hombre natural. Receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. No recibe las cosas del Espíritu de Dios. For they are foolishness unto him. Porque son uh, locura hacia él. Neither can he know them Ni because they are spiritually discerned. Porque son, se disciernen espiritualmente. I deal with atheists a lot. <laughs> Yo a trato lot. con ateos todo el tiempo. And then I hear the story, oh, you guys are a bunch of idiots. Y escucho mucho la historia, ustedes son unos tontos. You guys are foolish. Son, son tontos. And I said, I always laugh, I get a smile, and they say, what are you smiling for? I'm insulting you. Why are you smiling? I'm, I'm, I'm insulting you. Y, y me sonrió y me dicen, ¿por qué te sonríes? Te estoy insultando. I said, the very God that you don't believe in. That very God put you in his Bible. El mismo Dios en el cual tú no crees te puso en esta Biblia. And they go, I'm in the Bible? Y me dicen, ¿estoy en la Biblia? Yeah. Sí. Yeah. And I open this passage. Y miro este pasaje. The natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. Neither can he know them for their foolishness unto him. That's you. El hombre natural no puede recibir las cosas de Dios, ni tampoco puede saberlas porque se descienden espiritualmente. Ese hombre natural eres tú. It's natural for you to question this because you don't know God. Es natural para ti cuestionar la fe en Dios. You can try to read this book and you'll never get through it because you don't have God's Spirit. 
Tú puedes leer este libro y nunca recibir nada de él porque es espiritual. When you are saved, cuando eres salvo, you do things that are not natural. Uh, ya no, ya no debería ser natural. When we teach people to die, we teach them to do things that are not natural. Cuando nosotros buceamos, les enseñamos que, que, que no hagan cosas <coughs> que son naturales. Lord willing, if everything goes well, Friday we'll be diving in San Diego. Si el Señor lo permite, el viernes vamos a estar buceando en San Diego. We'll be about 100 feet under the water. Como 100 pies bajo del agua. And we'll breathe. Y vamos a, a respirar. That dive club I joined, their logo is just breathe. <laughs> hay, hay un logo que dice, uh, simplemente nomás respira. And that's the first lesson we teach people. Look, no matter what happens, breathe. Y es la primera lección que les enseñamos a la gente. No importa lo que pase, respira. We've trained um, uh, several uh, of the NATO forces in that are stationed in Estonia temporarily. Entrenamos a varios de, 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 las, de las tropas de, de, la, de la ONU que están en, en, en Estonia. I had a uh, U.S. Army lieutenant, first lieutenant. Uh, tenemos a, una, a, a alguien que es un oficial alto, uh, Uh, que estaba allí. 82nd Airborne, Screaming Eagles. No, that's the 101st. Uh, 82nd Airborne. He came and his whole group, he wanted to get them trained. De la división de, 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 de aviones que, que ocupaba entrenamiento. And I had a, I had a place in the, the lake there where it had, they had taken out slabs of limestone. Y había una parte en el lago que le habían quitado uh, Uh, no sé qué tipo de cosas que estaban en la superficie. And when they took the rock out, it made nice flat areas. Oh, y, y cuando quitaron esas piedras, uh, quedó una parte plana. So we could take gear out and put it down. It would be, there would be water here, but not real deep. Y podíamos quitarnos el equipo y ponerlo a un lado y había agua, pero no estaba profunda. And at this point, we bring the gear and the water is about this deep. Y estábamos en el agua a esta altura. And it's got a nice flat rocky area. Y había una, una parte uh, con rocas. And I would give them a regulator and I'd say, put it in your mouth and just sit down. The water would be about, just much above their head. Y le daba un regulador y le decía, siéntate. Y el agua estaba un poquito arriba de su cabeza. And I'd say, just breathe. Y le decía, simplemente respira. And that's all they had to do. Y es todo lo que tenía que hacer. Just breathe. No más respira. And most guys are like, what's the big deal? Y muchos decían, ¿Qué, ¿qué es lo grandioso de esto? This lieutenant. I should have known he's an officer. Este oficial tendría que saber que era oficial. In the army. En, en el army. Couldn't do it. No lo podía hacer. I spent an hour and a half. Tarté una hora y media. Not figuratively, actually an hour and a half. No figurativamente, una hora y media. Trying to get him to just breathe. Queriéndolo hacer que nomás respirara. Couldn't do it. Y no podía. He ended up not being able to do it. Y él terminó no pudiendo hacerlo. Because it's not natural. Porque no es natural. God asks us to do what is not natural. Dios nos pide que hagamos lo que no es natural. <laughs> We had a discussion about joy this week. Hay, hay una, algo acerca de, de gozo esta semana. Joy is not an emotion. El gozo no es la emoción. I don't believe. No creo que es. It's a spiritual condition. Es una condición espiritual. We have the joy of the Spirit. Tenemos el gozo del Espíritu. You can have joy in the midst of trouble. Tú puedes tener el gozo en medio del problema. I've been in a hospital bed in ICU and had joy. Yo he estado en el hospital, ahí en intención uh, uh, crítica, y, y he tenido gozo. Didn't necessarily mean I had happiness. No estoy diciendo que estaba feliz. But I had joy. Tenía gozo. There's joy in the presence of the angels over one sinner that repenteth, the Bible says. Hay gozo entre medio de los ángeles sobre uno que, que, que se arrepiente. Joy is spiritual. Gozo es espiritual. It is not natural. No es natural. It's not natural to do some of the things we do, but God wants us to do it. We just need to breathe. No es natural alguna de las cosas que Dios nos pide que hagamos, solo respire. Look at that in verse 4, we see, I'm sorry, verse 3 and 4. Versículos 3 y 4. 
knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Well, let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Boy, oh boy, have I seen so many people rush ahead in a panic when they should just stop and work out the problem, or running ahead of God. You know, the Bible talks about uh, Saul, uh, and, and the Philistines were attacking, and Saul wanted uh, Samuel to come to an offering and, and pray, and Saul wanted to get the victory of the Philistines, and he's waiting. Samuel said, I'll be there in seven days. And it's in 1 Samuel 13, if you don't know where it's at. And, and, and Saul's waiting and waiting, and the seventh day comes, and, and Samuel's not here. And so finally he says, you know what? we got to have a sacrifice. we got to do it. we just got to do it. We can't wait any longer. Do the sacrifice. He mirado a un montón de personas que se adelantan y nomás en, el, en la situación que están es cuando deberían de esperar. Y Saulo, cuando él debería de haber esperado a sacerdote Samuel que viniera y hacer. Y Samuel le dijo, espérate, yo lo voy a hacer. Llego en tanto tiempo. Pero Saulo no podía esperar. Tenía diciendo, tengo que hacerlo. Perdóname. Got ahead of you too much there. Saul didn't wait. Saul no esperó. No patience. No paciencia. The Bible says as soon as he did the sacrifice, Samuel showed up. La Biblia dice que en cuanto Saulo hizo sacrificio, Samuel llegó. God's not late. Dios no se tarda. He's never late. Él nunca llega tarde. He, we may think he's late. Nosotros creemos que él está tarde. But he's not. Pero no está. Look at this. Let patience have a perfect work. Deje que la paciencia tenga su trabajo perfecto. Patience is waiting, not, not waiting to your timetable's up. La paciencia okay. es esperar, no esperar a su tiempo. How many times I told my kids, guys, I'll take care of it. But Dad, it's got to be done. We got it. I Mucha, got this. Muchas veces les he okay. dicho a mis hijos, espérate, yo, yo hago esto. Y ellos me dicen, pero padre, ¿por qué es esto? Y le digo, espérate, yo lo tengo. And I think God in heaven often saying, hey, relax, just breathe. Y creo que Dios en el cielo nos está diciendo a nosotros, hey, relájate, respira. I got this. Yo tengo esto. Have patience. Ten paciencia. Let it have its perfect work. Deja que tenga su trabajo perfecto. Don't rush ahead. No te apures. Wait, just breathe. Espera, simplemente respira. Just breathe. Solo respira. I've seen so many times in Russia and Estonia when we tried to do something and I realized we just had to stop and let God do it. Muchas veces uh, en, en, en los dos, en Rusia y en Estonia, la gente quería apresurarse a hacer cosas. Y yo les decía, espera en Dios. And walked around it seven times one day. It was the day we, the bid went in. I said, God, I'm going to do it like, like you, you showed me through Jericho. I'm going to walk around seven times a day. I'm, we're going to get the victory. El, acuérdese del de, de pueblo de Israel en, en Jericho, que él estuvo caminando por siete días. Uh, Dios lo iba a hacer, solamente que, que esperaran a Dios. I knew he was going to get that building. Yo sé que Dios puede hacerlo. Él puede tumbar ese edificio. <laughs> And we didn't get it. We didn't get it. Y uh, allá no tuvimos nuestro edificio. God gave us place. Pero Dios nos dio un lugar. And then, years later, después, años después, God gave us not a part of a building. No nos dio parte de un edificio. But a whole building. Sino un edificio entero. I remember my wife saying, well, God might have something better. Recuerdo a mi esposa decirme, Dios puede tener algo mejor para nosotros. Much better than this. It's right by our house. It's perfect. Más mejor que esto está junto a nuestra casa. Está perfecto. No. <laughs> perfect work is through patience. Where Pero, we have today is perfect. Pero no. Uh, perfecto a través del, tra del trabajo es en la, la paciencia. Lo que hoy tenemos es perfecto. That's perfect. I remember, well, let's go on. Verse 5. Versículo 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and he might even give it to you. Is that what it says? Oh, no. And it shall be given. Isn't that a nice promise? ¿No es una bonita promesa esta? Verse 5 is wonderful. El versículo 5 es maravilloso. Wisdom comes from God. 
La sabiduría viene de Dios. When we ask for it. When we ask for it. Cuando le pedimos. You know, and, and do you know what happens? How do you receive this wisdom? You get this wisdom from God. How do you get it from God? ¿Y sabe cómo pasa? ¿Cómo recibe esta sabiduría de Dios? You know, I've tried this thing about speaking in tongues we find in, 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 in Acts chapter 2. Yo traté este, esta cosa de hablar en lenguas que se encuentra en Hechos 2. I'm still waiting for Mandarin to arrive. Y todavía estoy esperando que, 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 re, que lleguen. God, wisdom comes from God. La sabiduría viene de Dios. But it's not like you go outside and it's written in the clouds. Pero no es como que sale afuera mirando las nubes. You're going to get it <laughs> when you're doing the things God asks you to do. Lo va a recibir, pero cuando hace lo que le está diciendo que haga. When you, when you read his word. Cuando lee su palabra. When you listen to his word. Cuando escucha su palabra. Listen to the preaching. Escucha la predicación. Sing his hymns. Canta sus himnos. Do his work. Hace sus obras. Wisdom comes. Entonces sabiduría viene. It does. Y si viene. And, and, and you, yet I have so many people. I have a guy that comes to church, and he always comes up with something. Where did you get that? Y hay personas que que vienen a la iglesia y hay una persona que viene siempre con sus canciones. Le digo, ¿de dónde sacas estas? I mean, he comes up with the weirdest things you ever heard. Y él canta cosas que que tan que piensas tú que son las más raras que has escuchado. He's not listening. To God and God's people. Él no está escuchando a Dios y gente de Dios. You come to me and you say, you just come to me and say what you want to believe, and I'll find somebody who's probably teaching it. Tú ven a mí y dime algo de que tú quieres creer, y yo te puedo decir alguien que lo está enseñando. No matter how weird or stupid it is, there's probably somebody teaching it. No importa lo lo lo, ento, lo tonto, lo raro que sea, hay alguien que lo está enseñando. And the internet makes it easy to find. <laughs> y el internet lo hace más fácil encontrarlo. I'm telling you, there's some weird stuff out there. Hay muchas cosas raras allá. We need to listen to God. Nosotros necesitamos escuchar a Dios. The source of wisdom. Es, es donde viene toda la sabiduría. And that Holy Spirit, how many times have you had the Holy Spirit talk to you? And you go, man, it just doesn't seem right. ¿Cuántas veces el Espíritu Santo le ha hablado a usted? And you go, be quiet, I want to do it anyway. <clears throat> I was in Loch Lomond as a, a quarry in, in uh, Tennessee. Estaba en un lugar en Tennessee. And uh, I was renting gear. Renting gear is always a danger. Y estaba rentando el equipo, y rentar el equipo a veces es, es malo. It's like using somebody's drill. It's like your own. Es como usar el talado de alguien más que no es tuyo. You never know the condition it's going to be in. Amen? Usted no sabe la condición que se va a encontrar. Uh, so I'm borrowing this gear, and this guy says, this particular item requires a lot of weight. Y estaba rentando el equipo, y me dice, este equipo uh, requiere mucho peso. Because then you will float. I, I'm kind of fluffy anyway. I didn't need any help, extra help, right? Y yo estoy un poquito gordo, así que no, no ocupo mucha ayuda. And he starts giving me all this lead. Y comienza a darme uh, uh, como acero. And I said, man, that's like twice what I need. Y el acero que me dio, le digo, este es como el doble de lo que ocupo. No, 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 you never used this before. You need this. Y no, me dice, no, nunca lo has usado tú, así que tú ocupas esto. So I said, all right. Y dije, está bien, me lo pongo. And the dock dropped off 25 feet. Right to the bottom. I took one. Go ahead. Y en el muelle... Allí la, la caída al agua era de 25 pies. I stepped off and went. Y yo me, me brinqué al, del muelle y me fui derecho para abajo. I'm at the bottom. Y estoy hasta el fondo. And I have a thing called a BC, buoyancy compensator. Y hay algo que, parte del equipo que tengo. It's an air bladder. Que, que regula el aire. You pump it up and it's supposed to float you. Y lo, lo inflas y debería de llevarte para arriba. And I hit my button. Y le puché mi botón. I was still on the bottom. Y todavía seguía en el fondo. And I have a suit that's a dry suit, so it has air inside. Y tengo un, uh, un, un chaleco, el, el, el que me cubre, y está, también tiene aire adentro. It also helps you float. También te ayuda a, a, a flotar. I sort of look like Michelin Man. Y lo, lo inflo también. 
And I look up, and these guys' faces, I could see all the way through the water looking on the dock going. Y volteo para arriba y miro las caras de las personas que están mirando para abajo. I looked up out of the waves, I'm going like this. Y los miro y los saludo. So I had to swim up Así que tuve with que all this lead. Con todo ese acero. 32 pounds, you said? It'll be great, you said? 32 libras, dijiste. 32 libras, va a ser maravilloso, dijiste. I told you I didn't need all that. Y le dije que no ocupaba todo eso. And I had to take it off. Así que me tuve que quitar. But I knew better. Pero yo sabía mejor. And when, when, uh, when my, my own experience told me that wasn't right. Cuando mi propia experiencia me dijo, eso no está bien. I fought it. Lo peleé. We are that way sometimes. Sí. Spiritually speaking. A veces peleamos espiritualmente. When, when, when the world tells us something, the Holy Spirit says, that's not right. Cuando el mundo nos dice hacer algo, el Espíritu nos dice, eso no está bien. We, we just jump off. Y simplemente brincamos. Weighted down. Uh, con el peso encima. Because we didn't listen to the wisdom from God. Porque no escuchamos la sabiduría de Dios. Verse 6 says, but let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. Let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. Versículo 6, pero pide en fe, no dudando nada. Don't argue with the instruments. No, no argumente con los instrumentos. I see, this, I see these divers do this all the time. Y yo miro esto con los buzos todo el tiempo. The gauge says I'm out of air, but I couldn't be out of air yet. La brújula dice que ya no tengo aire, pero no puede ser que no tenga aire. Get back, you're out of air. I know I've still got plenty of air. No, ya, vente para afuera. Y la gente dice, no, todavía tengo aire. I had a son. Tengo un hijo. That dives. Que es buzo. And he did really well on his air, almost always. Y él hacía bien con su aire casi todo el tiempo. And we're out here in San Diego. Y estamos aquí en San Diego. 95 feet down. 95 pies abajo. I look at my air. Y miro mi aire. I got lots of air. Y tengo mucho aire. And I say, how are you doing? You okay? Y te digo, ¿cómo estás tú? ¿Estás bien? Okay. Bien. How much air do you have? ¿Cuánto aire tienes? 30. 30. We're supposed to be on the boat at 70. Tenemos que estar en el, en el barco okay. cuando dice 70. He, he's almost completely out. Casi ya no tiene nada. And we're deep. Y estamos profundos. You, you just don't go up that no, fast. No te subes rápido. Oh! That was me. Okay. Me paniqué. He's okay. Él está bien. Okay. Let's go up. Vamos para arriba. Okay. Okay, vamos. And we start going up. Y comenzamos a subir. And all of a sudden he goes back down. Y de repente le comienza a bajarse. I look down and he's laying on the down, ground. Y volteó y él está acostado. 95 feet of water with no air. 95 pies debajo del agua sin aire. I come back down. Y tengo que ir con él. You okay? ¿Estás bien? I'm okay. Estoy bien. Go up. Sube para arriba. Okay. okay está bien. I realize this guy's spaced out. Y me doy cuenta que, que ya está ido. He wasn't watching his instruments. No estaba mirando sus instrumentos. And when you won't watch your instruments, you go nuts. Cuando no miras tus instrumentos, te vuelve loco. I had to grab him and take him up. Tuve que agarrarlo y, y llevarlo para arriba. He lived to dive again. <laughs> y uh, vivió. But faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. La fe viene por el oír, y el oír por la palabra de Dios. How many times have I seen somebody violate what's in the word of God and then get surprised at the results? ¿Cuántas veces he mirado a gente violar las cosas que están escritas en la palabra de Dios y después asombrarse por los resultados? Don't argue with the instruments. No argumente con los instrumentos. Be patient. Sea paciente. How many times have I seen people that could have had everything they wanted if they would just have waited for it? ¿Cuántas veces he mirado a gente tener todo lo que siempre quisieran si simplemente esperaran? So close to getting what they need, what they want, and God's blessing. Tan cerca de recibir lo que quieren y las bendiciones de Dios. Boy, we've seen it. Be patient. Sea paciente. Be patient. Sea paciente. Don't argue with God. 
No argumente con Dios. Ask for wisdom. Pida sabiduría. Because because God wants to give it to you. Porque Dios se la quiere dar. We're going to face divers <laughs> temptations. Vamos a enfrentar diversas pruebas. We need to know what it says in the diver's manual. Usted qué sabe Amen. lo que dice en el manual de diversas cosas. Well, let's stand and we'll pray. Vamos a pararnos de pie para orar. If God's spoken to your heart in any way, si Dios ha hablado a su corazón de alguna manera, you need to do business. Al individuo. That's simple. Es simple. Amen. I pray. Come on. Go ahead and pray. Para